Hello YouTubers, Ram55 coming back with you with another in my series of the Train Simulator 2012. Lately we've been doing some operating sessions on the Wyandotte and Arbor Railroad that I've created. And so far we've uh, assembled and gotten two passenger trains on their way. We've seen an AI controlled Logger 1 arrive from up north, as well as another AI train that delivered some freight from the east. Now the last session we uh, sorted that freight train and got it classified and now we're ready to make some deliveries. So let's get started. Here I am just bringing the uh, switching locomotive down the ladder track. You can see in the distance the classification tracks that uh, sort the cars to various locations that they're going. The first one being local runs, the second track being uh, trains that will eventually be going to the east. The third track will be trains eventually going to the west. Uh, the fourth track is trains going to the north. And the last track is just a storage track for uh, flat cars for Logger 1 when he returns back up north. So now we're on the yard lead. We've thrown the switches so that we can take these two empty gondolas and attach them to the back of the logs that are waiting on the uh, third yard track. That is the arrival and departure track for trains coming from the north. And if any of you know how to get rid of that dang hissing sound uh, from this engine, please let me know. It is extremely irritating. I'm sure it's just a pressure relief valve coming from the engine, but it is unstoppable and it just drives me nuts. But anyways, if you have any clue on how to do that, please let me know. Now you can see the two conductor cars on the storage tracks. That's to get them out of the way so that we can have trains that will arrive on the arrival departure tracks as well as uh, any assembled trains that are leaving, uh, they won't be in the way. And as I mentioned in my last video, one of the most irritating parts of this game is operating all the switches that are in close proximity to each other in the yard. It's really hard to get your cursor over the right one. So this is our first train that we're going to deliver. It's logs as well as uh, empty gondolas to the uh, lumber mill just down the road here. The empty gondolas will be used to collect the sawdust from the factory. Those will then be shipped off to other places where they'll, they'll use it for various reasons. Again, this is a work in progress. I'm still experimenting with different types of vegetation, trees, ground cover, stuff like that. I think what I'm going to end up doing, those two buildings off to the left, the reddish one is actually a uh, storage barn for the passenger cars. And then there's a smaller one just to the right of that. That's a rip building or a repair uh, facility for cars that are damaged en route. I think I'm going to shorten that track up so it's not quite such a long spur or lead leading up to that building. I think I'm going to shorten that up. Here's another thing I find rather irritating. I like the animation on these guys chopping wood over here by the uh, wood rick, but that constant thudding noise gets on my nerves as well. So if somebody knows how to turn that particular sound off, please let me know. I like the amount of clutter we have around the, uh, the yard. There's railroad ties, there's a bunch of workers. I want to bring this area to life, so uh, a lot of workers walking around the facilities. I'm going to add some more clutter to the inside of the roundhouse so it's too clean and barren. Still trying to find the right grass to use this stuff. This doesn't look quite right to me. It's number one, it's too tall. And from 
from certain angles it has a certain glimmer to it looks way too bright a lot of the trees that are available for the game are just way too tall they must be down to five six hundred feet tall in scale way too big so now we're on the lead heading to the lumber mill First thing we'll do is we'll just deposit the logs to the uh, to the mill where they'll be sawed up into boards. To the right is the town of Arbor. That building on the far right right now is the uh, bakery. A little while ago we saw a bunch of uh, carts arriving at the produce station to pick up some goods there. Right now I'm using some pieces of track that will actually automatically load or unload these cars once they're set in the right spot. I will slow that unloading process down because I want it to happen over a many hour period. Right now all these cars are going to be unloaded in just a few minutes, so I need to slow that down. Now some of the Lars Industries you have to stop each individual car over that spot in order to unload it. But with the proto Lars, all you have to do is have any of the cars in the train over that section, and you can tell it to unload one car at a time. You can set the interval for the, uh, the rate at which each car is unloaded. So you can have it actually span quite a, a large period of time. Now we're just uncoupling the uh, empty gondolas from the logs, and now we're going to take them over to the other side of the lumber mill and spot them underneath the uh, sawdust collector. When you go over a switch, you'll see a yellow lock symbol above it. That means it means right there that you cannot throw that switch because the train is too close to the uh, to the point. You have to get a certain distance away before you're allowed to make the change. And it's, if you could see the ground, it would be about two of those boxes, I think, those yellow boxes on the ground. So now we've thrown the switch. I'm going to go to the other side of the lumber mill, spot the gondolas, and then we'll head back to the yard. I mentioned before that I love these switches too because they're fairly authentic, uh, not only in the way they operate, but also in their size. And they're also easily seen from a, a large distance away. So you can see which way that feather is pointing and from a distance know which way the switch is thrown. Off to the left there you see a couple mills. One of them is a fertilizer plant. The other one is a major uh, metal workshop. They make steel rails for railroads around the country, as well as other metal products. Again, you can see that I've added, tried to add some life to this area by putting some figures in here in the uh, lumber pickup area. That big can sitting over the track in the distance there is where the sawdust is sucked up and stored and then it's put into these gondolas. We'll spot them underneath and then come back and pick them up when they're filled. So our first local del deliveries have been made. It's been to the lumber mill. That's the major industry in this town. 
They're taking the logs that are being harvested in the forest in, uh, up north in here in Michigan. They're delivered down here to the south to various lumber mills. And this is the large mill here in the town of Arbor. They cut them up into the boards and then the boards are picked up, put on trains and distributed around the country and locally. Just heading back to the yard. I've got my switches arranged so that when you're going straight, the switch indicator, the switch arm is straight up and down. So this one is switched over to the left, so it's cocked over to that side. And now if you go straight, the, that switch lever is straight up and down. So from a distance, I can tell exactly which way the switch is being thrown. That's the produce uh, distributor there to the left, the produce, but the goods distributor to the left. That's going to be adjusted some more as well with a bunch of local carts either picking up or dropping some stuff off. Off to the right is the roundhouse and some quarters for the uh, supervisors as well as the workers. A small barn where they drive their carts and their horses to work. The guys that don't sleep on the premises. And if you look inside the roundhouse there, it's rather clean and pristine looking. Not the way a real roundhouse would look. I need to put some clutter in there, some crates and some stuff just to make it look used and dirty and grimy. Off to the right we have a water tower, a sand drying facility, the wood ricks for refueling the locomotives, some extra rails there, some ties laying around, just the general kind of clutter you see around a railroad. So that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. It's uh, the fifth in the series of the operating day at the uh, Wyandotte and Arbor Railroad. We made our first local delivery to the lumber yard. Next we'll be making some more local deliveries to the uh, bakery, the good shed, as well as the fertilizer plant and the uh, metal plant. So please leave comments that you would like to see me do on this series, uh, make comments on how I can make these videos better. Hope you uh, enjoyed this, this series so far and looking forward to doing some more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.